Hello, everybody. Today is week four. It is the start of week four. So that means we finally have to move some big weight. Um, so I'm excited. Uh, it's been a long week. Um, had like the longest test of my life yesterday. Uh, so that was a little stressful. Uh, made the last whole week kind of stressful, which kind of messed up my lifts. But it's all right. Um, I have another test today after I work out, but there's no rush and it should not be a stressful one. So, today's going to be good. Today and tomorrow are going to be good days. It's week four. We're primed. We're prepped. Feel good. Definitely um, a little bit sore, but not my legs or anything. My back's a little bit sore. Hit back yesterday pretty hard, but it's okay. It shouldn't affect my squat at all. And uh, as I didn't actually say yet, today we have squats. So, the goal for today is we have a top set of four at, I believe, 308 which will be a crazy PR. I believe it's a 20 to 30 pound PR for four. And then we have a fatigue single at I think about 340, which um, is not a PR, but it's like five pounds off my comp PR, I think, as a fatigue single, which is kind of crazy. So hopefully those both go well today. But the, uh, the biggest deal that I haven't talked about yet is that I completely changed my squat form from the last video. So I don't know when I actually filmed the last time, but I believe I was talking about how I wasn't hitting depth yet, and I really needed to hit depth, and we figured out I couldn't hit depth with flats. We figured out it's not actually true. I just have to have the ugliest form in the world to hit depth, but I can hit depth with flats, and that's what I've done for the last session or so. So basically, I'm calling it sumo squatting. Um, it's basically what it looks like, but my feet are really, really wide. My toes are fully horizontal, basically. My feet are basically fully horizontal and really wide. And I'm basically doing a sumo squat. Um, now, will this work for most of you? Probably not. I've had a bunch of people in the gym that obviously work out next to me and watch me do it. And they've, they've tried to do it, and I'm gonna be honest, they haven't done well with it. They've failed. They have not hit depth or they can't do any weight or whatever. Um, and it looks really stupid. So I don't really know why you'd want to do it. But there is a reason it works for me. And that is I have really, really long femurs, which I've talked about already. And I have really, really bad mobility. So if you think about it in context, it's kind of hard to explain. But the further your, the wider your feet are, the more pocket you can go into. So, like, let's just say your feet are straight, right, like everybody else, and you go max width. You're going to be able to hit really deep because your hips are spread out more. It's a lot easier for them to extend down. It's a lot easier for you to hit depth. If you have your feet really close, it's a lot harder because then your knee has to go way more over your toe, which isn't a bad thing in theory. You can have your knees over your toes. That's a myth that's been proven a long time ago to not be true. But you need mobility for that, and I don't have mobility right now. Um, so I can't do that. And I couldn't even, I had so much less mobility that I couldn't even do it with the widest. Even when I was the widest and I tried to go down, I couldn't hit depth. So the way we fix that is you turn your feet a little bit, and it lets your, your knees track over your feet. Normally, that's how, you know, that's how you squat. Your knees just track over your feet naturally. So if your feet are wider, your knees are going to be able to extend further out, which would then let you get deeper. So the way I've been squatting is pretty much only going to work for me. It's only going to work for you if you're really tall, you have really long legs, and you have really bad mobility. If you don't have all three of those things, it probably won't work for you. So, uh, yeah, so I know my comment section loves to judge how bad my form is on everything, but unfortunately for me, I have really bad leverages for most lifts. So for bench, I have really bad leverages, and you make it work. For deadlift, I have really good leverages, and we really make it work. And for squat, well, we're doing whatever the hell we can. Because I have the worst leverages in the world for squat. Um, but it's all right. Hopefully squatting goes well today. It's been going good with this form so far, so I'm, I'm not going to complain. Tomorrow is going to be a big day as well. Tomorrow we're going to go for an all-time bench PR. Either five kilos or two and a half. It really depends on how I'm feeling for the day. Um, and we're also going for a massive deadlift triple PR. But... That's tomorrow. I'm worried about today. So let's focus on getting this 3, 310 or 308 for today. And um, we're going to lock in. I want I want this 308 really bad. 
my squats have just been really bad for a long time, and uh, some progress would be great. So the only thing I'm worried about is this form is really, really hard on your hip, like your hip abductors, because obviously you're, you know, you're, you're like when you sumo squat, if you guys sumo squat, you know how, what I'm saying. When you, when you go into your stance, it's hard on your hip. You're putting a lot of strain on your hip. So on your abductors, sorry. So I'm doing the same thing when I'm squatting, which is even harder because when you're deadlifting, there's not really any weight on your hip abductors. You're just putting a lot of pressure on it. When you're squatting, you have pressure and you have weight on it. So I have to be really careful about that. I need to make sure my form stays perfect. I need to make sure I warm up properly, which I have been doing. Um, and just make sure everything is good. We're going to do a long warm-up. We're going to do a nice, nice, a lot of warm-ups. We're going to do a nice long, like, bands. I always do bands. I'm going to do some stretches. We're going to foam roll. And then we're going to do a nice long bar warm-up. So I will film the last warm-up, like always. And then top set, top set, three back downs. And then we have leg press and split squat. And then I believe calves and abs. So pretty fast day besides squats. It is exhausting because squatting is exhausting, but should be a good day. So um, let's get in the gym and I'll set the squat PR. We got four. Impossible. What? They're not deaf? Oh. They look good, they look good, they look good. <laughs> no, don't say that. Six? Come on with that. Let's go. I'll take that. Come on. My boy definitely put a penis on my back, which uh, you guys probably have noticed. I haven't. I uh, don't know. But sorry. <laughs> Last set of squats. I'm going to do leg press. Split squat. Let's lock it in.
All right, we are done swatching. All right, we're locked right now. It's all good. Squatch me really well. It's a good, good little break. I'm gonna do leg press. Setting this shit up is gonna work. I think this is probably fine. Yeah. All right. Just watched Mr. Bornstein pull some insane shit. I'm gonna go to 330 because I got 10. I need 8. So, come on. Let's go Bulgarians and pretty much on. No. Sixties, hopefully eighty to like. We'll see. Right, like, oh my god, that was good. Right, like, fuck, we're good, we're good, we're good. I just absolutely love Bulgarians. It's like everybody, you know, we all love Bulgarians. Oh, all right. <coughs> Jesus. Oh.
Hold on. <laughs> One more. Let's just not fall. All right, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I like. All right, come on. It's eight reps. <sighs> Fuck. Come on. Come on. Do another set of that. Alright, so I broke my tripod that I bought yesterday, so I gotta move one of those, but one more set of this and then my new abs and I have to go take a test. Desserts. You can call it. Okay, actually, uh, I lied. I fixed it. So, I don't have to buy a new one, which is nice. But we know we get abs. Um, I'm just going to try pussies pretty hard because I'm kind of sandbag abs all the time. I'm just a little bitch. Um, I don't like doing abs. But they're good. They help. So, let's get it. Easy, easy, easy. They're so easy. They're not. Instantly. I get 10. Okay, that's it. Let's push this bitch. Come on. Abs are cramping before I even start, but we're pushing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's 
Go. On. What an absolute session right there. That was perfect. I cannot ask for anything better at all. That was that was literally an optimal session for me. So um, let's just we can go over a little what I did uh, weight wise. Absolutely insane for me. So first off, uh, top set of four. Massive PR. I think it was about an eight. Supposed to be like eight and a half, so maybe like I, I said, like seven and a half, eight. That's really good. Um, that was, I believe, a 30 pound PR, um, which is kind of gnarly, actually. It's kind of insane. 30 pound PR on what I had previously it was 308 for a uh, set of four, and then my fatigue single, which I was actually wrong, was two and a half kilos above what I hit in competition. So my fatigue single, after hitting a PR of four, a massive PR of four, was two and a half kilos above what I hit in comp at an eight, maybe eight and a half. So that is amazing. That means the block was an absolute success. I probably have 365 in me right now, I think. That was 336, I believe, on the single. And it was, it was cake, considering I was after four. Fatigue single, that was cake. So I think squats finally moving, which is really good. I felt really good today. Depth is no question there. Nobody can question depth. Depth is easily there, which is beautiful. Um, and yeah, everything else felt good. Uh, leg press, honestly pretty heavy. My friend kind of messed with the angle you guys saw, but it's all right. Uh, second set, that was pretty good. That was a PR, I believe, in leg press as well. It was 330 for eight on the second set. And then Bulgarian's massive PR, 10-pound uh, PR. So that was 120, 60 in each hand for eight on each leg. Um, I hate Bulgarians with passion, but they do work very well. So, Overall, though, amazing session. Really can't complain. Squats have not been moving. Squats finally moved and felt good. So I really have zero complaints about the session. <clears throat> um, tomorrow is a big deal now. Tomorrow, hopefully, I will film again. Tomorrow, we, we got some big numbers. So my goal tomorrow, in competition, I hit 112.5 on my bench, which is 243. Tomorrow, my top range is supposed to be 115. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take 110 as my last warm-up. And if 110 moves really well, which it should, I'm going to take 117.5, which is 258, which will be a big PR. That will be a 5-kilo PR in four weeks on my bench, which is amazing. And if 110 doesn't move well, then I'll take 115, which will still be a 2.5-kilo PR, an all-time PR. So absolutely zero complaints. Hopefully tomorrow moves well, and then we're pulling something crazy tomorrow. I believe we're pulling 385 for a triple. I pulled 402 in comp. I'm about to pull 385 for a triple. That is absolutely insane. So hopefully you feel good when you prep for tomorrow. Got to go back to the to the room, study for this exam. Got to go take this exam tonight, meal prep everything, and then tomorrow we lock in and hit our crazy numbers, and we get to chill out and recover for a nice, nice long time. Recover. I have no clue what I'm going to get next block. I have no clue if I'm doing quads, if I'm doing triples, if I'm doing doubles. I have no clue. Haven't talked about it at all. Because we're focused right now on tomorrow. Then after tomorrow, I get to have some fun. Uh, close grip on Monday will be really heavy, but it's close grip, so fuck it. Uh, and then my tempo squat day is actually going to be really heavy because the first time I don't have a number for tempo squat, I just have the RP. So I'm actually going to push tempo squat pretty hard, to be honest. Um, so tempo squats on Thursday will be really good. And then we got tempo bench to end the block off. And then we got a, probably a deload or a week one, which will be really light. So... It's got to grind tomorrow, give everything I have to tomorrow, and then we get to just rest up and recover. So overall, solid day, and uh, yeah, no complaints. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.